this weekend would be what was on Halloween, right, Chris? It might be a little bit cooler, but it won't be colder. The last two uh, Halloweens in a row, we had snow flurries, so this is going to be a big improvement this year. I was year. not here for that, so yeah. that's news to me. Yep, <laughs> and that set the stage for some mild winters, so we'll see if the opposite has an opposite effect. We look at the weather this morning. It's gorgeous out there, mainly clear skies. Looking at the temperatures into the 40s right now. Well, actually 39 at Fort Wayne International Airport, just short of 40 degrees. Most spots around 40 this morning. That sunrise this morning coming in at 758. It's going to be a pretty one. And the sunset tonight at 652. Those daylight hours are getting shorter and shorter. But in between when we've got it, it's going to be beautiful sunshine all day long today. What's happening around the nation as far as uh, precipitation? Not much. There has been a low pressure system bringing some rain back out to the west and it is stuck. It can't move anywhere because a large ridge of high pressure controlling our weather. If we do get some rain from this system, for now it's got to go up and over the ridge. So we will not have any problems with that. There will be a cold front setting up later in the week, but until then it's going to be gorgeous. There's not a lot to show you here. Uh, rain? Nope. Clouds? Nope. It's all clear from Fort Wayne down to Muncie, Indianapolis, on back to Chicago. And not much rain eastbound either. In fact, none over in central Ohio around Columbus Drive this morning. And it is going to be a beautiful day uh, here with a lot of sunshine. Let's see what the European model says for the next several days. Well, this afternoon, that rain painted out to the west is just going to stay there. It'll eventually get moving, but dissipate as it moves eastbound into Monday to Tuesday. See a few showers. This is a cold front coming through Wednesday and Thursday. You can see the clouds associated with it, but not a lot of rain expected as this front passes through. It'll be seasonably chilly for a couple of days before a big time warm up coming up later in the week. We notice a huge storm system on Thursday onshore uh, out in the Pacific Northwest. That'll stay there. Doesn't look like much rain at all. Very little chance of rain except with that cold front Wednesday evening. And that is a very, very low chance of rain. So it looks like we're getting into worsening drought conditions. Uh, the growing season's mostly over, so it's not a big problem for that. But we need to get some precipitation over the winter and spring, or we'll find ourselves stuck right back in a drought as we begin next year. For the afternoon, gorgeous sunshine, 75 degrees. That's uh, at least 10 degrees above normal for this time of the year. The winds will be uh, fairly light, southwest at about 5 to 10. For tonight, it will be clear, another cool night. Uh, not as cool as this morning. It's 39 right now. 47 tomorrow. So we start the day with a bit milder weather tomorrow morning and that boosts our temperature in the afternoon. 78. I have a feeling though with a light south breeze some spots tomorrow will touch 80. Not quite record territory but getting pretty close. So way above normal tomorrow if you happen to have the day off enjoy sunshine 78 degrees. This is why uh, a lot of people think October is the best weather month of the year here in northeast Indiana. You might be right. As we look at the day uh, and the seven day period, still mild on Tuesday, partly cloudy in 76. That chance of showers on Wednesday is very low, but it is there with a high of 70. And we see that cold front and the effects of it are short lived. As we get into Thursday, sunny, but a high of only 58. So that's about 20 degrees cooler than tomorrow's high. But another run, another warm up is coming. Friday, mostly sunny in 62, 67 on Saturday, 74 on Sunday. And I've seen some modeling for the middle of next week back into the mid to upper 70s. So these mild days keep making a comeback. If it wasn't October, I would say it's a good day to go hit the pool. But I don't think there's any pools open anymore. The pools aren't open, but you can <laughs> still get out and enjoy.